Coronation Street enthusiasts believe they've uncovered a plot twist involving Joel Deering and DS Lisa Swain. Viewers will remember that on Monday night, Dee Dee Bailey, portrayed by Channing Sterling Brown, received a peculiar voice message from her villainous ex Joel, played by Callum Lill, which DS Swain, played by Vicky Myers, suggested might be a suicide note. Joel's wrongdoings were finally exposed in recent episodes, with evidence confirming his wicked deeds, resulting in him facing jail time and being dumped by his wife to be D.D., who called off their wedding before receiving the strange message. As the police delved into Joel's disappearance and the mysterious message, Officer Kit Green, played by Jacob Roberts, disclosed he had a lead on Joel and had pinpointed his last known location, where they discovered his car parked next to a bridge with a folded note on the dashboard, leading D.S. Swain to fear he may have taken his own life. However, D.D. was skeptical and didn't buy into the police's theory, deciding to visit the crime scene herself. After questioning Joel's previous victim, Lauren Bolton, portrayed by Kat Fitton, about the location image she had tracked of Joel, D.D. conducted her own investigation where she found a small car concealed in the woods. D.D. promptly informed D.S. Swain about her suspicions, who assured her they would investigate. Later, while searching Joel's flat, D.S. Swain and Kit stumbled upon the notebook that the wicked solicitor used for his note, realizing it was all a premeditated act, reports the Liverpool Echo. As D.D. continued to argue that Joel had clearly staged everything, Kit received a call revealing that the car did indeed belong to Joel, with his DNA found in the vehicle along with a laptop under the seat. On Wednesday night, D.D. confided in Kit that she had contacted the wedding venue and the holiday company, revealing that Joel had already reclaimed their deposits, a peculiar action if he was genuinely planning his own demise. By Friday night, D.D. made her way to the police station, where she encountered Joel's father Gus, who complained about being given the runaround by the police. Matters took a turn for the worse when D.D. suggested that Joel might have disappeared, leaving his father shocked and appalled at the suggestion, insisting his son was suicidal and could be dead somewhere. This led D.S. Swain to intervene, inviting D.D. into a private room, where D.D. accused D.S. Swain of brushing her off. D.D. was quick to voice her suspicions again that Joel isn't dead and even accused his father of being complicit in the plan. However, D.S. Swain swiftly advised the stressed character to accept that Joel is indeed dead. Coronation Street fans flocked to Twitter, now X, to highlight a recurring plot point involving D.S. Swain, with one viewer commenting, you think after the last time Swain had thought somebody was dead she might learn something hashtag Cory, while another tweeted, if Swain believes Joel is dead then he is deaf alive hashtag Cory and yet another chimed in, though I see already presuming Joel is dead. Much like they did Lauren, who they locking up for his death hashtag Cory. Fans of the soap will remember that earlier this year, DS Swain mistakenly believed that Lauren, one of Joel's victims, was deceased despite the absence of a body, leading to Roy Cropper's wrongful arrest. In a fortunate turn of events, Roy was later exonerated when Lauren resurfaced alive, having been in hiding from Joel.